So it's been a little bit since we have got an update for you guys. So downstairs, we've now replaced all the old drywall. We replaced the insulation with the foam insulation. We've got the first layer of drywall mud down here. In this craft room, you can see that we've got the first layer of mud in here. We're going to be leaving the ceiling open and unfinished. We're, we really like the look of the wood and the beams. But we are going to paint the drywall. Over here, we have an open space on that wall. We also have an open space on this wall. And I want you guys to tell me in the comments below what you think we're going to be doing with those two open spaces. And we'll give you guys an update video on that later. We will be changing out the lighting in here. Um, for those of you that do crafts, obviously you know that lighting is quite a big deal. So we're going to need to have better lighting in here to light up the whole space. But we've got the first layer of drywall mud in there. We're still working on finishing, framing out these posts. They're going to look like this one when it's finished. So if we keep moving into the living room area over here, we've also got the drywall mud in here. And on that wall, And if we go into the guest bedroom, we've got drywall in here. We've also got drywall in here. This is also our holding area, temporary for the craft room stuff. So we've still got to hang the top layer of drywall in here, but again, this ceiling is going to remain open. We are going to sand down the wood and then probably put a coat of clear on it. We've also got the closet framed in now, which is pretty exciting. The electrical, the light in there. So Jason's got that all framed up and got the drywall in here. So we just need to put the drywall mud on there. Over there you can see we've got some doors. That door is going to be here in this open space. Um, and then also the other door is for the closet. So this area here, obviously we've had it open so we could work on the electrical. So that is going to be covered again with wood planks. Um, and here, the shower area, we also have to do the wood planks. We've just been trying to get all of the um, downstairs finished. So you can see that there's wood that's gonna go all the way down to the bottom here on both sides before we transition to the drywall downstairs. Then I'll You see that dust up there? See that dry wood up there? The only way to go up there and fix it is to use this ladder right here. That's all cleaned and oiled now. Um, the beams are looking a lot better, lint-free, dust-free. We're using this old English stuff right here. And the only thing I would do different is I would not use this towel. But this leaves behind a lot of lint and I'm not very happy about that. Um, so probably next time I'll use a t-shirt or something like that, an old t-shirt. Um, but you can see I've got all this oiled. So if you're looking at the difference between oiled and not oiled, you can see the not oiled stuff over here is a lot drier than this stuff. And this stuff, it's so dry, it's already soaking up the oil. So we're probably gonna have to do this again in a couple of months, but I wanted to at least get a first coat on this stuff. So that's what I've been working on. But that's what you gotta do when you have a wood house. You gotta oil it and the wood's protected. And that's the main thing. So I still got one more section of ceiling up here to do. I'm gonna leave that for another day. We bought, well, Dad bought all of these. He didn't buy them. Well, samples of colors for the drywall 
And personally, I like this vintage aqua, the top one, for the craft room and downstairs. Well, for the craft room. And then I like breezy aqua. I still do. Which one is that one? The, the top, top one? one? Again, breezy aqua. And I also like, like, this purple, the right one. So you like the darker colors? Yes. And I also like the right one again and like the middle one, cool, cool hue. Blue Discovery. But the one that we decided on, which I like too, it's still a blue, but it's still white. It says this one, S S uh, S P S P H P. And you wrote it upside down because this is actually the color melodious. Oh, I wrote it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the one we chose. Um, it's got to be a craft room, so it's got to be something that's a little bit lighter, right? Yeah, and it's gonna have like the craft room downstairs, which is gonna be amazing, and I really like that color. So if you know what the Holes are, make sure you leave a comment down below.